Anybody remember when a passenger side airbag was your mother-in-law? <laughs> Some things, it was a little annoying. I have to admit that magnifying mirror, that was a little too much information. You know, it's fine for you ladies with the smooth faces and everything, but us guys, we're just whiskers and pores, you know? We just... I looked into that thing at 7 o'clock this morning. I looked like a colander with nose hair. It was horrible. I just... Here's a tip, though, guys. When you get out of the shower, if you'll just walk over to that thing, it will boost your self-esteem. I'm just saying, it's just a... makes you feel a lot better. But the room gifts, the free stuff, is amazing. Look at this. If you put this in your suitcase, they'll bring you some more tomorrow. <laughs> I couldn't believe all the stuff they give away. This, look, right, right there in my bathroom. It was great. <laughs> I was just... These will fit into the overhead bins, too, by the way. <laughs> I tell you who could talk to traffic, my cousin Lester now. He was a black belt in sarcasm. <laughs> no, don't signal whatever you do. That'd spoil a big surprise, wouldn't it? <laughs> what are you doing, buddy? You want to back off a little bit there, Procto boy? Good <laughs> Lord. Already had my rectal exam this week, if you don't mind. Honk if you spot a polyp. <laughs> and a cousin of mine came up to me and said, she'd been studying up on the genealogy, you know, the family tree and all that. And she said, Mac, do you realize that you are 164th Choctaw Indian? I thought, wow, that's pretty fascinating to me, you know. So, you know, I did some research and studied up on the history and the culture of my people. <laughs> and I found it just intriguing, but I find it hardly ever comes up in the conversation. You have to bring it up yourself if you get to talk about it at all. Well, I travel a lot being in the business I'm in, you know, so I might be on a long cross-country trip, you know, and after a couple of boring hours on the plane, I might just, to break the ice, you know, turn to the person sitting next to me and say something like, uh, They're always real surprised. Because I don't look Choctaw at all, you know. It embarrasses my children. Whining lizard. Sulking elk. Texting moose. Kind of annoys my wife. Screeching badger. She just... She gets a little upset. She does. I am joking, I am joking. I am married finally to my soulmate. I am happy to, I, I had a practice wife. <laughs> <laughs> but 17 years ago, I found this woman and I'm gonna hold her close, and boy. Men and women's needs are so different. That's how we mess up, guys, because we think, you know, we don't know. And, and women's needs, my wife has taught me, for example, over the years that she needs more Calcium, iron, ointments, unguents, emollients, cotton balls, phone time with her mother, lipstick, lip gloss, lip balm, lip liner, shoes for every imaginable occasion, and some I can't even imagine. Constant assurance that her butt is exactly the right size. She needs more little glass and porcelain things, more candles, mirrors, picture frames, things made of gold, silk, and wicker. 
pillows of every conceivable shape and size. Detailed information about the neighbor's personal lives. <laughs> Potpourri. Hundreds of tiny little bottles with mysterious stuff in them. Dozens of pretty little boxes with nothing in them. <laughs> and an occasional girl's night out with a gay guy who can dance. And that's about it. <laughs> That's about it. That's all they need. When I was a kid, my parents brought, bought me one of those little plastic record players and a record. <laughs> I played that thing so many times, I learned my very first song by heart all the way through, just listening to that record. Oh, give me a home where the buffalo roam and the deer and the A where seldom is heard. A disker, a disker, a disker. I did. Her and the skies are a home, home angel where antelope <laughs> is her. I disgur outie all day. A, 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 a.